Hello and welcome back to Factory Town. In our last episode, we built the most of the assembly here. We just need to plant some fields in order to make uh, cooked chicken. We also need to provide some fuel. and But we are harvesting a, a bit of coal here and just storing it. We also talked about, at the end of the last episode, using train stations as mass storage locations. Because then I can put it right back on the train network and put it back out. But the reason to use a train station is, by default, they store 1,600 items um, in uh, with the cost of... What was the cost of these? Nope, that's not what I wanted. 50, 50 and 50. 50 iron, 50 planks. Whereas the, the barns, especially if we were upgrading them multiple times, which we've stopped kind of doing now, but... When we were upgrading them multiple times, they were costing us uh, 20 planks, 20 stone brick. I think it's stone brick. Yep, stone brick. 20 iron. On In addition to their original cost of stone and, and logs, I think. Oops. Except it helps if I don't click the last button there. Yeah, stone and, stone and planks. Uh, not stone bricks, but just stone. So... It seems, and it's also much more space effective, because we're going to start. These are going to start getting more expensive with the reinforced planks, and then God knows what's after that. Probably going into the magical items. So these temporary barns, I'm not that thrilled about putting items in them, and then eventually flushing them out and deleting them. So we talked about the last time taking a train station and putting it out here, maybe out here into the uh, desert area or something. And I think that's a good, good, as good place as any. And just like setting up a bunch of these even. And uh, saying, okay, well, all the coal's going to go here. All the this is going to go there. And the other thing we also did last time was we set up a small assembly making mana crystals. Because we had to use them to upgrade the base. And that made me think, after the last episode, we used about 12 people just making the cooked chicken assembly. So the 50 people we get for each upgrade of the base, adding five more houses isn't going to last too long. So I think it might be worthwhile to do a couple of things kind of back and forth. Uh, first off, we're going to set up this temporary train network to haul the coal we're collecting here, maybe these logs we've collected over here as well, into some temporary train station storages over here. And then we're going to build, uh, we're going to, we're going to build some assemblies like the uh, beef that we started. And we're also going to continue working on the things we need to be able to upgrade the base. Now this one's actually fairly easy from where we sit, other than the purple coins. So we need to actually sell some things in order to gain purple coins at the uh, specialty something shop, specialty goods shop. The good thing is, the two items, well actually the general store sells the mana bricks, interesting. Uh, the two items we, we need to make here in order to upgrade the base again, both are sold for purple coins. So we can make some of the mana bricks uh, out where we're making the mana crystals and sell them to the general store as part of stone construction here using mana uh, and, and make mana bricks. And we can also build the specialty goods place or can we not yet? Yes, we can. We need the mana bricks for that, but we'll get those. Uh, and we can build that and then also uh, start selling the um, the enchanted books there as well. Uh, so the only other thing is the tavern. And we haven't built the tavern officially yet. Um, but we could put one down maybe right in here. And that sells cooked food, which I was also thinking about. Because things like sandwiches uh, require more bread. Than what we're making so uh, depending on the quality of the food the sandwich counts as and stuff we may need another and i may just do a whole from base materials up tree for this specifically so we would have cheese getting made locally cooked chicken getting made locally and bread getting made locally in order to make all these things this only has eight one of these buildings must have 12 then Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Because there's fifty. Ten. Maybe the specialty goods one has. 
The specialty goods must be the one that has 12 then. Because it does say that there's 12. Or there's 50. Well, according to the wiki... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's 11 at the specialty goods. Well, there's 11 items that are sold at the specialty goods. But I don't know if there's... Hmm. But that's item, not category. I don't know. We'll have to figure this out as we go, I think. Either way. Um, coming back to this, we need to also make these items. Some of them are easier than others. Sandwich being one of the harder ones, I suspect. Fish stew, I think, is going to be fairly easy to make. We made that in one of the tutorials. Meat stew may be harder. Eh. And I also saw reference somewhere to making bread from potatoes. Um, I don't know where I saw that, though. Bread from potatoes. Still need flour, though. But it has the amount of flour. Because it's, it's two flour in four seconds for this one. But it's only one flour and one potato in four seconds for this one. So it has the flour, which which halves the number of grain mills you need and the number of farms you need for grain. But then you need potato farms. Carrot farm. The carrot's growing wild there. So it might be interesting to maybe... Ugh, maybe re redo this a little bit and uh, see about the potato farming. Because the potatoes are going to not need as much as many workers, I think. So that might be worthwhile to come back to. But that's a quick precap of what we're going to accomplish here. So let's uh, let's set up a train station here. We have one here. And let's set it up maybe over here. And then I want to... The, yeah, I've already filled up four barns full of coal. So I want to load the coal into this, which should be easily done by doing this. Eh. Don't like it either way. Let's do it this way instead. And then we can build some rails. I think we already had rails going someplace. Path. Uh, rail. Yes. So we need to have that there, obviously. And then this can go here. And then I think I'm just going to go uphill from here. Um, hmm. Nope, that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. And then this should be a train... Uh, what is that? Logistic? Train stop. We also need to fuel the train, though. I suppose that should be done here, at least initially. We also need to water the train. And uh, this is an unloader. Maybe I take these out here and do this instead. Let's try that. This will go up hill there. Uh, then we also need a... Nope. It is a logistic block. Fuel loader. And then we need a well. So I need to reserve a spot in here for water. But I also want to flag this differently so that I can click on it like that. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, so this is coal. We're just going to fill this whole doggone thing up with coal. And uh, that'll take over for like all those barns. Oops. Uh, click the thing, Wally. There you go. Maybe you can't set all these filters, because I don't want water filling up more than one spot, so I need to filter them all. Individually, and because we can't use this item filter either. Alright, let's go into the pipe overlay. Fluid pipe overlay, that is. Build a fluid pipe from here to there. Perfect. And we are getting water now. And then I want this to go up quite a ways. But I don't know how hard that's gonna, how far that's going to work. Uh, eh. <laughs> I 
Nope, that one. We need to go up this hill, and then I want to be up a bit from the hill, just for posterity. Nope, not the... Let's do this one instead. In the right spot, Wally. There you go. Holy crap. I think this is a train and not a uh, minecart, because it would never climb this hill. Alright, I think that's probably enough. Except that that massive mountain over there. But we could turn. We can turn this thing, I think. So let's, um, let's call this good here. Man, I wish we could get heights. I don't suppose that F shows heights, no. And H hides the interface. That doesn't show height. Oh, that's interesting. I just noticed that. You can press... I need to look at this thing more. If you press tab while you have the wooden pillars, then it switches to the arches. I've been switching them with my 8 and 9 keys. And vice versa. Okay. Let's go all the way... Yeah. All the way this way someplace. Is that good? Yeah, I think that's good. I might just move that train station if it's not. And I have no idea if that's anywhere close. Uh, no, we want rail here. Uh, that's a path. Rail. Nowhere near close. Perfect. Okay. There we go. That's going to be close on that, too. On this uh, air temple. But that's okay. I guess I should see where I'm supposed to be lined up here. Here we are. Yep, I missed by a little bit, but that's okay. It was supposed to just be a guess anyway. I don't know how many of those I need either. Ah, not too bad. Oh, crud. It didn't work. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, we don't have enough rail. All right, of course. How many do I have? That's the big question. Or is it rail that I'm out of? Or is it... Let's see which goes out first. It's actually... Planks. And I don't... I can't have more than 300. All right, let's cancel that then. Come over here. And we'll build a midpoint waypoint here. Somewhere in this vicinity. And then we can grab that again. It's because it's going down to the ground and then it comes up right there. I just burned through half of them. Now I need to let that save up. So in the meantime, let's do something different over here. Well, let's spend some more while they're saving up. Uh, let's go here. Yeah, let's go here. Too much. Much too much. Oopsie. That looks right. And then I can take rail... Uphill? You're not gonna let me do it? Hmm. Can I do it like this then? No. 
you're gonna make me do that whole ramp thing, I'm gonna be mad. What if I go down instead of up? Oh, that's why. Okay. Uh, let's build one thing here then, too. And then I think we'll do this just to be safe. Excellent. Okay, that was not as painful as I was afraid it was going to be. This way first, and then go out this way like this. And I guess I need to have... A corner there. That looks surprisingly good, but I should probably also fix this one too. How many, um, how many of these things did we save up while I was spending them? Enough. Enough. I suppose I should come down here as well. That would probably be the good thing to do. Do this one? That'll work. And just for, I don't know, some reason. Do this. Okay, and then this one is done, so I need to also build one here. One too many. Not bad for a guess. And I forgot about the tab key. Tab, Wally. Tab. Oh, that was a good guess. Tab. There we go. Okay, so now we can do... This rail goes down there. And we're going to run out of... Thingies. Oh, yes, we are. Okay, so I can choose to stand here and hold this for a minute. While it counts up to 128. Probably the better idea. See, at least we're making a decent amount of rails, too. Volume, that is. go. And now I've got to find something else to do for a while, because that was just the last of the planks. And then what I'll end up doing is I'll end up, you know, maybe even ripping off all of this coal while I'm here kind of thing. But uh, we can also build a train. Uh, let's see. BW. Steam locomotive. Going downhill. We want to use hopper cars for this. Uh, maybe a couple? Yes, I know you have no fuel. We'll, we'll straighten that out in a bit. And that'll pick up fuel here at the fuel loader. And water. We can get high in our own supply here with the fuel. That's good. And then we can drive the train this way. The only issue is I don't have any water right here for this. Should I instead... Or do I... I don't think I have to worry about the water, actually. Let's pretend that I don't. So let's uh, move this guy. I'm just going to put it out here, I think. We need a train stop. Uh, like that. Of course, we need tracks here. Like that. Uh, I can just make this a basic filter for coal. 
And I think we're good then. And I can even daisy chain these together. Ooh, that's a good idea. Instead of having the train have to stop at multiple ones, I could daisy chain them together. Okay, so let's see. We need to see about planks, 171. Let's see if we can build anything with this. Wow, they built. We, we've got a nice, uh, nice plank manufacturing going. If, if that short amount of time, uh, let me build up a hundred and hundred and seventy-one. Okay, train, fuel, water, good. Now, uh, actually, do you have supplies? You do. Okay, so you carry a hundred in each car. We're gonna probably want more cars than that. I want to see how this does, though, with, um, and this is also loose bulk items, as predicted, uh, which is the same as the mine cars. So I don't know why you would attach a mine car, mine cart to a train engine if you can just use the hopper cars that store 100 versus the mine carts that store, was it 20? Something like that? Small amount, anyway. So the fuel went up to 22 for some weird reason. But uh, we're obviously not using very much fuel. It's not burning very fast. And the water looks like we use a oh, it looks like we use a lot of water and a lot of fuel going uphill. But not so much any other time, which is good. Did you unload everything? You did. Excellent. Oh, that is awesome. But yeah, we're gonna need to daisy chain these things. I think I'm gonna add two more hopper cars to this, and hopefully that keeps this satisfied yeah it's already full again so we're definitely not although four of them would be potentially too fast i think it just filled up um, but the harvester drill is not able to keep up so that's okay boom 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 oh you can see it in there i didn't even notice you can see it in there that is pretty sweet i have to say that is pretty sweet okay so enough with the playing around with trains for now let's do the uh beef I don't want to get rid of this coal. I'm also going to want the pastures. Hmm. Pastures are going to need... How do I want to do this? This is going to be interesting. I want the pastures on the, on the coastline just so that I can provide a little bit less water via wells. But I clearly need to also have the kitchens here outputting from the pastures into the kitchens. But I also need to... I also need to make... Oh, that's the other thing we need to uh, make too when we're making things. Is we need to make the pasture... Uh, the earth crystals for the pasture. So I have to figure that out. But we need purple coins anyway. So we'll get those other things made after we get the beef going here. Okay, so if we're going to upgrade these, these pastures to 1,200%, uh, which is 600 and then the, the plus 200 from the upgrades, which is 1, 2, 3, and the fourth one, that should get us to 1,200 per pasture, which means we'll be getting 12 beef every 10 seconds, which is the same as if this is at 600, 6 beef every 5 seconds, which is great. So 12 beef every 10 seconds means that we need to have, we're going to need two of these such setups also. It means we're going to need to have 12 times 4, 48 animal feed per pasture, which is going to be interesting. Let's see what that entails. Uh, if this is steam boosted, that's 600%. So that's 6... Animal, f holy crap. That is six animal feed every two seconds, and we need 48 every 10. Oh, wait, that's not a holy crap. Hold on. Hold on. 12 times 4 is 48 every 10 seconds. That is 4.8 per second. If this is up to six, that is one, two, six. That's three per second, right? Six every two seconds is three per second. That's still only two grain mills per pasture. That's, um... Actually, that kind of makes sense, because if if we're doubling 
the consumption. Well, we're doing more than that. Forty-eight grain every ten seconds. These were twelve grain every five seconds. Then why did I need two grain mills? Twelve grain every five seconds. is 2.2 grain per second. I don't need four grain. What? Oh man, this math. If you're up to f plus 300, that's 400, plus 50% of that is plus 600. So that's 12 grain, grain or animal feed every 5 seconds, which is 2.4 sorry, 2.4 per second. This is at 600%, this is producing 6 every 2 seconds, which is 3 per second. I only need one grain mill for these. Okay. Uh, but anyway, so, so this needs 48 every 10. That's 4.8. This can produce 6 every 2, which is 3. Or if we don't steam boost it, it can produce 4 every 2, which is 2. So we need to have these boosted. So this will be here, something like that. This is going to need 12, yeah, this is going to need 48. So this is going to need 2.4, we only need to make 2.4 per second per grain mill. So we only need, we don't need 3 per second, we need 2.4 per second. So we only need five sixths. We only need five grain. Multiplier of five grain, not multiplier of six grain. So we need ten grain every two seconds, which is five grain per second per grain mill. And five grain per second means that we need a farm with a as yet to be determined number of workers with 20 far, uh 20 grain fields that might just be doable so now we need to figure out this layout which if we're going to have two pastures here somehow maybe we could just do it like this and then put the other kitchen over here once we get rid of some of that uh iron at least that one piece of iron there or I could just do this. This is just one. And then we'll have to figure out where to put the station at, but that can come later. This would be uh, cooked beef. So we need to have six every five seconds. Well, we need to have, for cooked beef, what was the numbers again? Cooked beef is a tier four, which means it, we need 100 every four, 100 every 40 to 100 every 140 uh, seconds. 100 every 40 seconds is 2.4, 2.5 per second. This will produce six every five seconds, which is 1.2 per second. So two of these will produce 2.4 per second, which is good enough, more than good enough. Okay. 
and so these kitchens or we could put the pastures on the outside and the kitchens on the inside that's a better idea let's do that there then you can come out of the way that's a better idea wally good job wally why thank you wally okay and then that can go like this and then we'll have to get rid of more of this iron but we'll figure that out later and then these grain mills farm can be out of the way Grain mills can be here. So in order to make six beef per sec per five seconds, we need to make twelve six in order to get six beef for, per five seconds, we need to get we need to make twelve beef every ten seconds. Which means we need twelve animal feed every ten seconds. Or twelve times four animal feed every ten seconds, which is forty eight, so that's four point eight per second. Grain mill can produce six every two seconds, which is three per second. We only need 2.4 out of three, so that's five out of six, right? No, that's 4.8 out of six. Which is one, two, three, four, that's 80%, that's four out of five. Not uh, five out of six. So um, instead of needing instead of needing six times two, we need four point eight times two. So we need like nine point six grain per s two seconds. So we need four point eight grain per second. And 4.8 grain per second is 4.8 times 4, which is still 20. Still ends up being 20, 20, 20 fields per farm. And uh, that's one farm for each grain mill. And I'm assuming we can easily roll what end up, ends up being about 5 grain per second down a couple of shoots. So that should be fine there. And then this will be, of course, uh, these three checked. And then we'll have some fertilizer here that we can feed back, and then any surplus fertilizer will, of course, get on, loaded onto a train to send out. And I think that will work. So now I'm mad at myself about this one, which is we need cooked chicken. Cooked chicken is also quality tier 4, so we need 100 every up to 40 seconds. Or up to 100 every 40 seconds, so that's uh, still 2.5 per second. This can produce 6 every 5, which is 1.2, so that's the same number on the kitchen's thing because the recipes are the same as far as time and output items. So two kitchens make sense. That, that'll give us that. will give us that. Uh, our coal train must be... It must have filled up the other station already. <laughs> Not surprising. Um... So, we need to have six raw chicken every five seconds. This is going to produce, uh, we added 50%, so this is going to go from 400 in the end to 600 in the end. That would be six raw chicken every five seconds, which is perfect. So that means we need to have six times two, which is 12 animal feed every five seconds, which is only... 2.4 animal feed per second. This is going to produce 6 divided by 2 or 3 animal feed per second, so we don't need these extra things here either. Which is good. Because then that makes my life easier. Okay, so... We need... 12 grain every 2 seconds, which is 6 grain per second, so that's 24... Yeah, because we don't only need 4.8 of these, but we need all 6 of these. So that's 24 farm plots per farm. 
12 grain, six makes 12 grain, makes six feed per two seconds, that's three feed per second. And this needs 12 feed every five seconds, which is 2.4, so that's plenty. I have no idea why I had so much built. Uh, maybe I will make sure and rewatch the other episode. But uh, I've noticed the time. So we built the beef, which is good. Uh, I want to build maybe some more of these. Can I just do this, hopefully? I don't know that it knows which way to go. So let's try a logistic grabber here. Good. And I might want to have more than one just to make sure that I make enough room before that train comes back but I think that's where we're going to leave this for today so we have now beef planned we built our temporary rails which might be more or less what we have for permanent rails I might go up a little bit higher or I might just avoid this hill and that hill and go somewhere in between here um but that's kind of the idea that I have for the permanent rail system. It's just to have a two train, uh, a double track going around and then using signal or using the logistic controls to make sure that it's uh, going in the right direction. Um, but so in the next episode, uh, I think we'll come over here and build those, uh, those bricks, those stone Magic stone void brick thingies, what were they called? Door. Uh, mana bricks. Uh, we'll make the mana bricks and then um, do we need stone bricks, fuel, and blue coins. We'll make those and we can start selling those to the, uh, to the general store and getting some of the uh, purple coins going. And that'll be, that'll be good to start next time with. So thank you all for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye for now.